Fellow producers, do you struggle with making time to get in the studio and create beats and finish up new projects you started? Ever felt like you were juggling a family, your job, other responsibilities, and trying to make music? Yo, it can feel like a complete comedy act. I've been there before, and if you can relate, you're in for a treat. And if you are a regular on PLB, you already know what it is. I share everything that I know, the wisdom with you guys. Whatever I know, whatever I learn, I'm going to drop it here on the episode, right? So in today's episode, we're going to unravel three tips to carving out time in our busy, busy lives so we can take care of our responsibilities and keep our music creation vibes alive. Let's face it, that's what we're born to do, right? Create dope music that impacts the world. Let's break these time management strategies down today. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Platinum Lyrics and Beats. I'm your host, Trey Boy. All right, let's jump straight into it. Here are three strategies for how to master time management for music producers in 2024. Number one, delegate, delegate, delegate. (laughs) Yes, I said it three times. I wanted to stick, all right? What does it mean to delegate? Delegation refers to the transfer of responsibilities for specific tasks from one person to another. In other words, delegation means to trust someone with a job, duty, or responsibility that's assigned for them to do. All right? Delegation comes with tons of benefits. For example, it increases productivity because it allows you to accomplish more in less time. You can focus more on making beats and less on tasks you can pass on. It prevents overwhelm and helps to prevent burnout. It also enhances work-life balance and helps communication skills and builds a stronger sense of teamwork. It just makes sense, all right? I'll share a little story of mine of how I was introduced into the world (laughs) of delegation. One day I was listening to a mentor of mine speak about delegating duties to qualified individuals. I started to think about how overwhelmed I felt dealing with work, family, duties, music productions, which included creating beats on the regular. And as I meditated on for a while, the thought popped in my mind, I should hire a yard man. But manicuring my yard was something that I really enjoyed, but not as much as producing music. But see, here, here's the story, all right? Here's a little bit about me. I'm from the South. And one thing every man takes pride in down here is how well we take care of our families and our yards. <laughs> if, you, if you're from the South, you know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm talking about. But it would take me about two to three hours every Thursday to manicure my yard. That's about 12 to 15 hours a month, depending on what month it is, all right? Now, imagine what I could do with that time in the studio with all of that extra time. Of course, the bell started ringing in my head, and eventually I did hire a yard man. I've been able to produce more beats, work with more artists, create a full-fledged 10-song R&B project titled Love Over Everything. You should check it out if you like R&B, all right? I was able to shoot more podcasts, you name it, all because I hired a yard man. Now tell me, what will you delegate to free up more time so you can start becoming more productive in the studio and produce more beats, songs, and content. I'm serious. Comment below. Let me know. I'm interested. Yo, yo, we'll get back to the episode in just a few minutes, but I want to give you a free gift for rocking with me today, all right? Are you tired of your beats sitting on your hard drive collecting dust? Are you struggling to make money from all the hard work, time, and effort you put into making dope music? If the answer is yes, this is the perfect time to build a profitable email list to market, promote, and sell your beats, songs, or products if you have any. All right? Just go to buildlistsellbeats.com. Buildlistsellbeats.com and download the email marketing tools for music producers checklist for free. That's right. I'm giving this game for free. You'll get access to the game-changing list of tools and resources that enable me to gain a lucrative email list with supportive listeners 
and music lovers ready to make a purchase. All right. Email marketing is here to stay. Check the data. 347 billion emails were sent and received per day in 2023. All right. And it's going to just increase from there. And for music producers, artists, songwriters like ourselves looking to grow and build their fan base, supporters, and bank account, may I add, all right, building an email list is the most rewarding thing you can do. Take advantage of the potential profits you can make on your musical journey by downloading the proven, neatly, well-crafted, laid-out checklist today, all right? Go to buildlistsellbeats.com and download the checklist today and turn your passion for creating music into money in your bank account. The link's in the description. Back to the episode. All right, here we go. Number two on how to master time management for music producers. Create a productive daily and weekly schedule. In short terms, this would be called time blocking. Look, I'll be the first to tell you, having a carved out time or routine is powerful, all right? The benefits of doing something at the same time, daily, weekly, consistently, is the cheat code. It really is the cheat code. Here's why. Regular schedules help form habits, making activities more automatic. Of course, the activities we're focusing on is creating music. Having a schedule also increases efficiency. You know what to expect and how it allows for better planning, organization, and overall increase in productivity. Another benefit of scheduling is your time management will be off the charts and you will reduce procrastination and most importantly, create a sense of discipline. Don't even talk about being successful without being disciplined. All right. That's a whole nother episode. But having a routine schedule will also reduce stress, which leads to better health and sleep patterns. If you have a scheduled routine, you're more likely to reach your goals and achievements because scheduling regular actions contribute to progress toward long-term goals by breaking them down into manageable routine tasks. Look, I'm giving y'all a game, man. I hope you're taking notes. Also using a schedule or a time block you'll be able to establish boundaries. Instead of you having nothing planned on your schedule, which would lead to you doing a hundred other random things, <laughs> you can block out time for things you really want to do, like making beats and creating meaningful music in the studio. Overall, maintaining a regular schedule brings about a sense of order, predictability, and structure to daily life, promoting efficiency and contributing to both personal and professional success. I'm giving y'all the blueprint, man. I'm giving you the blueprint of how to get things done. All right. Start today. Today is the day to kickstart your schedule routine. And whether it's on you setting it up on Google calendar or Apple calendar, pick a daily or weekly slot just for you to rock it out in the studio. I would say anywhere from three to four hours weekly. All right. And if you can do it more than that, do that. All right. And check this out. If you really want this to work, stick to it for 30 days, because that's how long it's going to take for it to become a habit. And if you are a super achiever, like a lot of us, stick to it for 90 days and it will become a total lifestyle for you. You'll see your production skills and productivity take flight. It's worth it. Believe me, I'm not telling you something I heard. All right. Here we go. Number three, learn the power of saying no. (laughs) Learn the power of saying no, man. No to people. No to scrolling on social media all day. No to draining distractions. All right. Look, I totally get it. Some of us have no problem with it, but some of us have the hardest time saying no to distractions and people we feel like we owe them something like and and maybe we do i don't know that doesn't mean we should never exercise the right to say no and when we especially when we have something much more important we should be doing like being in the studio creating beats making music doing stuff that we love all right creating our next hot beat creating something new you know that project that we promised that's coming out 
That's what we should be saying yes to and no to everything else. You know, saying no allows you to prioritize tasks and commitments, ensuring that your time is allocated to activities aligned with your personal goals and values. All right. I'm going to say it again. That was that helped me out right there. Saying no allows you to prioritize your tasks and commitments, ensuring that your time is allocated to activities aligned with your goals and values. It simply helps you to maintain focus and it prevents you from spreading yourself too thin and dedicate attention to more important projects. Ever catch yourself with beats constantly playing in your head? Do you use pots and pans or maybe even your school desk as an imaginary drum machine? Look, I've been there, seeking the outlet for all of that creative energy. That's why I dove into the world of music production, and it transformed my creative space entirely. If you're itching to explore the world of music production, look, I got you covered. I created a free video, The Beginner's Guide for Music Producers. All right? I'm covering the essential equipment for producers, guiding you through crafting a dope beat from scratch, and shedding light on the exciting career paths awaiting skilled music producers ready to make money from doing what they love, all right? Ready to dive into this amazing musical journey? Head over to AspireProducersLab.com today and let's unwrap the gift of music production together. Your creative adventure starts now at AspireProducersLab.com. Back to the episode. And lastly, saying no when necessary prevents burnout and preserves your mental and physical well-being. It ensures that you have energy to excel in the task that truly matters and contributes to your overall mental, physical, and creative performance. And that's what we want. We want to perform at our peak and saying no to things that we shouldn't be saying yes to will help us do that. All right. I know this is just one episode, but it could have been a whole master class, right? You take notes. You go back. You take notes of everything I said, the points. I promise you, your life won't be the same afterwards. Okay, and I don't, I don't know about you, but when I listen to something and I really want it to sink in, I listen to it about two or three times in a row. All right, and that's what I'm going to challenge you to do. Watch this episode two or three times, or listen on Apple Podcasts two or three times until mastering time management becomes natural to you, and everyone knows where your priorities stand. So check it out. Remember to use the tools of delegation. Don't try to do everything yourself so you're overwhelmed and you can't focus on the things that really matters and the things that's really important to you, all right? Remember to set a daily and weekly schedule and use time blocking for maximum production and productivity. Lastly, learn to use the legal word no. It is legal to say no, (laughs) all right? It is legal to say no, all right, to people and distractions, all right? And here's a bonus. Find an accountability partner, all right? Doing this will increase your success for time management over 90%. If you find someone to hold your feet to the fire, to hold you responsible and say, hey, you said you was going to be producing beats every Wednesday from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Why are you scrolling on the internet? Why are you doing other things? You're being distracted. From 12 to 4, you said you would be producing beats, creating beats, or working on whatever you're working on at this particular time, all right? Find an accountability partner. It will help you out, all right? Thank you for hanging out with me, supporting PLB. Subscribe so you can watch more helpful videos like this every week. You know, every week we drop. Let's get that work. This Trey Boy, I'm out. Peace.